Good news. Elon Musk has just announced the next departure time for Starship, a new start for this project. Welcome to Elon Musk Signal. Exciting news for space enthusiasts. Just three to five weeks from now, the Starship, SpaceX's fully reusable space transportation system, will embark on its next test flight. This marks a significant step in Elon Musk's ambitious project, promising to revolutionize the space travel industry, ushering in a new era for commercial space tourism and exploration of other planets. Join us in this video to discover the highlights of the upcoming test flight and learn about the changes it may bring to the future of space travel. Do you believe Starship will succeed? Share your thoughts in the comments below and stay tuned for the video. We may be just a month away from the next launch of SpaceX's super rocket, Starship. That's the timeline Elon Musk laid out in a post on X, saying the next Starship test flight might be three to five weeks away. The goal is to get the ship past max temp, or at least a very high altitude, the billionaire entrepreneur added, SpaceX has been actively preparing for Flight 4. They have conducted static fire tests for both the Super Heavy Booster and the spacecraft assigned for this mission. During the testing process, the Raptor engines were briefly ignited while both vehicles remained tethered at the Starbase launch site. On Saturday, May 11, SpaceX also moved the Flight 4 Super Heavy booster back to the launch site. Possibly for further testing. This information was posted on an X article by the company. The hop is slated for June, with many enthusiasts speculating June 14th as the ideal date for this grand debut, precisely three months after the third Starship launch. However, the scheduled launch times for SpaceX's Starship rocket have been subject to constant change. For instance, CEO Gwyn Shotwell confidently asserted in March that the IFT for test flight could occur as early as the beginning of May. However, reality proved otherwise. In preparing for Starship's second test flight, which eventually launched in November, Elon Musk provided time frames ranging from 6 to 8 weeks in April and June. However, by September, he declared the rocket was ready to fly only to be swiftly denied by the U.S. Federal Aviation Administration FAA. Finally, on November 3, SpaceX accurately predicted Starship's relaunch in the middle of that month, all three Starship test flights have shown improvements over the previous, but also led to FAA flight restrictions at various times. The initial FAA investigation lasted from April to November. The second investigation took only half the time, completed between November and February. Considering the enhancements made to Starship and Starbase before the rocket's second test flight, such as installing water-cooled steel panels beneath the launch pad to contain debris, and the relative success of the third test flight, SpaceX may be aiming for a similar time frame, about three months for the current investigation to conclude in June, making Elon Musk's predictions feasible. Musk and SpaceX have set ambitious goals for Starship's fourth flight. The primary challenge lies in surviving Earth's atmospheric re-entry. Something the previous mission failed to achieve, Starship is the largest and most powerful rocket and spacecraft system ever built, standing at 400 feet tall, capable of lifting up to 250 tons, and accommodating 100 people for interplanetary travel to Mars. Starship surpasses NASA's iconic moon rockets like the Saturn V from the Apollo era and the Space Launch System SLS, in the Artemis program, which conducted its first test flight to the moon late last year. With twice the thrust of the Saturn V, SpaceX plans to triple this capacity. It also outperforms the Soviet Union's moon rocket, the N-1. Starship comprises two parts, both designed for full and rapid reusability, the gargantuan first-stage booster named Super Heavy, and the 165-foot upper stage called Starship, or simply, Ship. As of now, a complete Starship system has conducted three test flights, all taking place at SpaceX's Starbase in South Texas, in April 2023, November 2023, and March 14 this year. This behemoth spacecraft has performed better after each flight, for instance, in the first launch, Starship's two stages failed to separate as planned, and SpaceX detonated the tumbling vehicle just four minutes after liftoff. The second flight saw successful stage separation, but both the Super Heavy and ship were destroyed early, ending the mission after eight minutes. In the third flight, 
the Super Heavy successfully flew to its intended position for a splashdown in the Gulf of Mexico but disintegrated at an altitude of about 1,650 feet above the water. Ship reached orbital velocity and flew for nearly 50 minutes, though ultimately failed to withstand the intense atmospheric friction during re-entry to Earth's atmosphere. Therefore, Elon Musk's primary goal for Starship in the fourth launch is to survive the Earth's atmospheric re-entry process. Starship's third flight demonstrated the rocket still encountering issues with its heat shield. Over the past two months, SpaceX has been continually improving the nose cone and addressing vulnerabilities in the heat shield's tiles. They have changed adhesives and employed some techniques to secure the heat shield, but the effectiveness of these measures remains uncertain. SpaceX and Elon Musk may need more time and effort to better prepare. SpaceX has completed 327 successful Falcon rocket launches, with 80% of them utilizing reused boosters. Musk stated that this year, SpaceX will launch around 90% of the mass sent to orbit from Earth. Such high efficiency boosts Musk's confidence in achieving reusability with the Super Heavy booster carrying the Starship spacecraft. In this fourth test flight, SpaceX will attempt to land the booster on a virtual tower in the Gulf of Mexico. If the fourth attempt is precise enough, SpaceX will try to catch the booster in the fifth test using a crane shaped like chopsticks on Starship's massive launch tower. Musk estimates an 80-90% to 90 chance of catching the booster with the launch tower this year. With Starship's upper stage, it will take more time to land and refurbish, as it has to survive re-entry into Earth's atmosphere. In the March test flight, this vehicle shattered and caught fire during re-entry. Musk stated that in the next flight, the upper stage's goal is to survive and make a controlled landing in the sea. He expects SpaceX to achieve this milestone within 2024, and the next year will begin landing starships back in Texas. SpaceX is also in the process of expanding ground infrastructure and upgrading the design of the Starship. Musk disclosed that the company will construct a second launch tower in Texas to facilitate additional test flights. The company plans to manufacture an additional six Starships this year and increase production by 2025 when a new factory becomes operational at the Starbase facility. By the end of 2025, SpaceX aims to have two Starship launch towers in Florida. Initially, these towers may support NASA's Artemis missions landing on the Moon. The Starship spacecraft will also be larger, primarily due to extending its length. Musk outlined the company's plans for Starship 2, capable of carrying 100 tons into low Earth orbit, fully reusable, and Starship 3 with a capacity of 200 tons or more. While this may seem unrealistic, it is evident that SpaceX has undergone four major upgrades to the Falcon 9 rocket from 2010 to 2018, doubling its performance. These larger vehicles are necessary to reduce the number of refueling trips required to send a vehicle into Earth's orbit for a trip to the Moon or Mars. Musk stated that the goal is to achieve a configuration whereby only five or six refueling trips are necessary to support a Starship capable of carrying 200 tons to Mars, eight years ago, when Musk first outlined plans for Mars. This seemed rather implausible. But today, with SpaceX demonstrating that rocket reusability is very feasible and operating a bustling Starship factory, they are taking very confident steps forward. Do you believe in the success of this fourth launch? Leave your comments below. Don't forget to like, share the video, and subscribe to the channel for continuous updates on interesting technology and electric vehicles. Goodbye for now, and see you in the next video.